Hey everybody, this is Tim Reset from over at eminimind.com and today's video I'm going to show you how to set up a very simple market internals grid. And so what you have in front of you is the breadth, uh, upper right is the advanced decline line, bottom left is the tick, and on the bottom right here is the ES, the E-mini S&P. These are all 15 minute charts and this bottom left tick here is a bar chart. So this is using the Thinkorswim platform. I'm going to go ahead and reset the grid. So this is what it would look like when you open up a new chart. And the first thing we're going to do is click up here, make it a four box grid. In the upper left, we're going to do dollar sign UVOL minus dollar sign DVOL. That will give us the breadth. And we'll edit the charts here in a moment. Upper right, we're going to do dollar sign ADVN minus dollar sign DECN, advanced decline line. Bottom left, dollar sign TICK, and bottom right, a backslash ES. So these are our four market, in, well, three market internals we're going to use, and then the ES chart. That way you can keep everything very simple on one screen. Now to set up the chart so it looks how it did when we first had it up, we're going to go up here to settings, uh, change the chart type to candle, first off. We're going to change it to intraday, one day, a 15 minute chart. We're going to go into settings. We're going to do equities, show volume, turn that off, show extended session, turn that off. Um, scale and access, now appearance rather, we do uh, turn show grid off and we'll do OK. So now we have a 15 minute chart, two days worth of breath data. Now a little trick here is to do save style and we'll call this style uh, internals. We'll include the study set, we'll hit OK. Now for this advanced decline line, we'll simply click up here, load style, internals, and boom, we have our style. Now for, for the breadth, we can load, the, I'm sorry, for the tick, we can load that style internals. But what we're going to do is change that from a uh, candlestick chart to a bar chart. Because the, the candlesticks really aren't important as far as tick uh, data goes. We're, we're more, more looking for the extremes in the tick. If you'd like to go one step further with the tick chart, you can come down here, do a price level, uh, double click. We're going to right click on that and edit properties and we'll just change that to gray and do a dotted line and we'll make the value 800 and then up in the up up here we're going to go to a left ray show now we have a line at 800 and you can do the same thing for minus 800 that way it's easier to see the extreme tick readings so uh, again just double click right click edit properties We'll do minus 800, and of course you can use minus 1,000 and plus 1,000 if that's uh, easier for you, but uh, 800 I think is a good number. It gives you a good indication of you know, uh, potential action points and extremes in the market. And there we go, so plus 800, minus 800, and then over here is your ES chart, and we'll do the load style and internals is what we called it. Now with the internals, I'm sorry, with the ES, we're going to go into settings, uh, futures, um, turn off extended session, I don't show volume, and appearance, I turn the grid off, and OK. And you'll notice we have this funky little thing going on here. This was Memorial Day. The futures did trade for a few hours, but uh, the market internals, obviously the overall broader market stock market was closed so you wouldn't normally have this little extra day in between but there we have our market breadth upper left upper right we have the advanced decline line the tick down here and then the ES and so that's a nice clean way that you can uh, display your charts one other trick click on the wrench we'll do show sidebar turn that off and there we have a nice clean a market internals chart and you can have everything on one screen so you don't have to be flipping back and forth when you're trading the ES and of course you can make this you know YM, Russell, uh, whichever market that you're trading. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you liked the video give it a thumbs up and if you do have any questions uh, you can email me at eminimind at gmail.com. I'll put any notes uh, below in the um, description. So hopefully that helps and thanks. Take care.